Attending a visa interview is usually linked with anxiety, especially for first-time applicants. However, this anxiety could be doused if some simple tips are adhered to. A visa denial could be emotionally troubling, especially when the applicant is due to attend an urgent business meeting, funeral of a loved one, graduation, or wedding ceremony of one's offspring, among others. Ideally, there are no fast rules to getting a visa, other than the applicant getting himself or herself acquainted with the basic requirements of the country they intend to visit. Oftentimes, applicants apply the generic rule in either preparing for interview or presenting their documents. This is a major blunder as each country has its own set of distinct immigration rules, which if not adhered to at the point of filling an application form, automatically reduces the chances of getting a visa. One major mistake that applicants should be wary of is applying for or paying for the wrong category of visa. There are various categories of visas ranging from immigrant to non-immigrant visa, work visa, study visa, exchange visitor visa, business or conference visa, and the B1 and B2 visitor visa. Others are I visa, that is journalist and media, religious worker visa, transit and ship crew visa, domestic employee visa. For the United States, the most common and popular of its entire visa category is the B1 and B2. The B1, B2 visitor visa is for people traveling to the United States temporarily for business, that is B1, for pleasure or for medical treatment, that is B2. Generally, the B1 visa is for travelers consulting with business associates attending scientific, educational, professional, or business conventions and conferences, setting an estate or negotiating contracts. The B2 visa is for travel that is recreational in nature, including tourism, visits with friends or relatives, medical treatment, and activities of a fraternal, social, or service nature. Often, the B1 and B2 visas are combined and issued as one visa, the B1 slash B2. While most countries in the European Union territory, Schengen, Canada, South Africa, among others, do not require applicants to be physically present for a visa interview, the United States of America, USA, does. Responding to an inquiry from a national daily, Mrs. Aderoke Aderele Fatsumi, Chief Executive Officer, CEO, Voxron Travels, a firm that specializes in visa and travel advisory services, said research has proven that poor documentation and incorrect information by applicants remained reasons for the upsurge in visa denials. She added that one needs not be a millionaire to secure a visa, contrary to misconceptions making the rounds adding that an applicant's statement of account must run in a logical manner, meaning that inflow and outflow on such accounts must be in good standing. She further explained that applicants should avoid the lodgement of bulk funds that cannot be defended into an account, warning that such transaction could raise a red flag. Below are a few tips that could guide applicants in the process leading to their visa interview or preparing their application documents. This list is not exhaustive, as applicants are equally expected to carry out further research in order to be successful. 1. Avoid forged documents. Either you are attending an interview in person or submitting your documents at a visa application center Avoid the presentation of forged documents. Submission of forged documents has been on the rise lately and all embassies and consulates frown at such development. The use of forged or cloned documents could lead to a visa ban of up to 10 years or more, depending on the decision of the consular. 2. Say it as it is. Do not try to impress the consular in any way because majority of them are experienced having served in various countries and could easily tell when an applicant is trying to impress them. 
leading to telling lies. If you do not have answer to a question, simply say so instead of making inaccurate guesses and outright lies that put you on the spotlight. Telling lies either in your application or during a live interview session will only reduce your chances of getting a visa. Most counselors prefer you tell them the truth even if you, as the applicant, consider your chances slim. 3. Get your documents right. Like it was pointed out earlier, there are no fast rules to visa application process, as the documents from one country to another differ. However, there are basic documents that cut across. Pay the right application fee in relation to the visa class or category you are applying for. Fill the right application form. Schedule a visa appointment where necessary and get the right specification of the passport photograph. Using a poor quality photograph with the wrong dimension could put your application at risk. Ensure the validity of your travel passport is at least six months. Also include the evidence of your visa application fee in your application package. For all visa classes, include in your document or go to the interview with all relevant certificates from high school to university level, marriage certificates, family photographs, pay slips, ID cards, letter of employment or last promotion, bank statements, among others. 4. Stay clear of fraudulent agents. The quest for economic migration has led to an upswing in the cases of visa fraud. A majority of unsuspecting applicants have fallen prey to the fraudulent activities of some agents who parade false claims, thereby duping unsuspecting members of the public. The requirements for a visa application are clear and can be obtained from the website of the various embassies and consulates. The use of an agent does not automatically guarantee the issuance of a visa because it has been discovered that in some cases, the applicants are even more knowledgeable than the so-called agents. For the United States, information relating to the various visa categories could be viewed via www.ustraveldocs.com, while that of the United Kingdom could be seen via www.gov.uk. 5. Consular Expectation the applicant must be able to prove to the consular or interviewing officer that the purpose of the trip is what is stated in the application. He or she must equally convince the officer that there is a strong tie that could compel him to return to his country at the expiration of such trip. Oftentimes, most applicants fail to demonstrate this, leading to visa denial. For instance, a denial under Section 214B of the U.S. Immigration and Nationality Act means that an applicant is not able to demonstrate that the intended activities in the U.S. will be consistent with the classification of the non-immigrant visa for which they applied. 6. Don't be late. The embassy or consulate will tell you the exact date and time of your interview. If you get there late or unprepared, you will leave the official with a negative impression of you and that might ultimately halt your visa application. Indeed, tardiness on the interview day creates a negative impression of the applicant in the mind of the official. Instead, try to arrive at the embassy or consulate where your interview will take place at least a few minutes earlier. This will help you calm yourself down and relax when giving your answers to the interview questions. Also, make sure to leave home early enough, counting the traffic jam. The embassy or consulate will tell you the exact date and time of your interview. If you are late, in some cases, you may have to reschedule the appointment and pay a fresh application fee. 7. Don't give out unnecessary information. If you have been asked a question, make sure to understand it well. Exaggerated answers and not required explanations are not supposed to be given at visa interviews. 
The visa official is not interested in losing a day hearing everything about you, unneeded and irrelevant information. The official only wants to get specific and clear information that he directly asks you. Avoid losing a sense of your talk by trying to impress the visa official with too much of the talk. In its place, keep your answers short, simple and accessible by holding the regular flow of the interview. Remember that the interview should be natural and with no need for imposing moments. 8. Keep nervousness away. What destroys your answers during the interview is appearing there full of nervousness. Even though your visa application and supporting documents, as well as your physical appearance, are as they should, a bad energy, nervousness, overconfidence might destroy your interview. Speaking too much of your successes, shaking noise, pointing yourself or the official with a finger, unstable eye contact, and other negative gestulations because of the anxiety you experience in the interview can cause the official to end it fast. To avoid such an uninvited situation, it is suggested you relax and calm your nerves early enough before the interview. Try to not overstate the interview concern. Instead, consider it an approachable meeting. 9. Avoid disagreeing with the visa official. Arguing with the visa official during the interview session is another reason the entire visa interview session might go wrong. An increased tone of voice or a bad approach towards the visa official only shows you are a destructive individual that does not have respect for the authority that the representative of the diplomatic office enjoys. In its place, in case you have any objection about what the official says, Use a very sophisticated language and a calm tone of voice when clarifying the exploratory issue. So, do you want to get a visa? We hope these tips are a great help. From Lagos, this is Tina Timothy, News Express Nigeria Television.